Hi everybody, welcome to Queer from the Couch on the Queer Network. My name is Justin Gerhardt, and I have a special guest on the couch. Marty Gold Cummings. Marty is an iconic drag queen from New York City. I started drag very accidentally. I was on a show off Broadway and okay. the character was androgynous and mm -hmm. so I started putting then I started in my performances in real life. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, I would do gigs and I started wearing heels yeah. and then like a dress and then it was but like no makeup and then it was right. like a little bit of makeup and then a lot of makeup and no wigs and then wit and so it's like evolved over like the course of a decade into this drag persona, and it's just like comfortable for me. I have fun mm -hmm. doing it. You're on a reality television show on Fusion TV. Yeah, my friend Mike Kelton and I uh, developed this uh, TV show called Shade Queens of NYC, a docu-series reality program about eight drag queens. Okay. So we kind of pick up where Drag Race leaves off. I love drag, if it wasn't for RuPaul, we wouldn't be able to have sold this show. It's yeah. showing like that there are human beings underneath all of like mm -hmm. the muck muck. And, 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 and learning why a drag queen does what they do. Yeah, everybody's like reason for doing drag is different, Absolutely. you know? I would love I loved doing drag in London. Mm -hmm. Amsterdam was really fun. I did a cruise to Alaska, which was really fun. I got to meet a lot of really great people from around the world. And oddly enough, I loved performing in Mobile, Alabama, which I was very nervous to go to because it's the deep south. But the people there were so excited for a New York City drag queen. And a lot of people there had seen my TV show. And they were just like very uh, warm and welcoming. A role model for me now in like my new kind of political world is like Harvey Milk is like the ultimate activist, you know, and, and he lost so many elections before he finally won one, but for him it was never about winning. It was about showing that you can do anything you put your mind to and that he just wanted to help people and do good for people and give a voice to uh, an underrepresented community. How long it takes me to do my makeup uh, it depends on like if I'm in a hurry, uh, but normally it takes the whole process is like 90 minutes. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little more about your show. You do so many shows a week. I do. Tonight's Show at Therapy is my uh, Broadway talk show where I have a different Broadway guest each week. And it's set up like a late night talk show. We play games, they sing songs, I sing songs, we tell jokes. It's set up like a James Corden, yeah. Stephen Colbert, that kind of thing. Oh, so, uh, honey, I came up with this idea. I said, I want to have a talk show, goddammit. I love Broadway, I love drag, I love to talk. Tonight's guest is the beautiful Jessica Vosk, uh, who's been in Wicked and Fiddler on the Roof. Uh, she's wonderful. My favorite Broadway show ever, The Color Purple. The queens who inspired me the most would be Marsha P. Johnson and uh, the transgender activist Sylvia Rivera from the Stonewall era. Uh, I love Juanita Moore, who's a big activist in Sister Roma from San Francisco. They do a lot of great activism work. Comedy-wise, Coco Peru and Varla Jean Merman are like the fucking best. Lady Bunny, because she won't die. She just keeps <laughs> working. The other shows I do... I host a really fun bingo on Sundays in the evening at Pieces. And then Sunday night I do a show at Hardware where I have up and coming drag queens perform. It gives them like an opportunity to have a stage. I have a drag review show with two girlfriends of mine at Rise Bar on Wednesdays. And that's fun because the pressure's not on like me. It's like a group effort. I think the biggest highlight of my drag career is creating and producing a TV show that I've gotten so many messages from people around the world. Just saying how they feel like uplifted and inspired and Blake and I, my husband and I were at uh, the grocery store the other day at the checkout line and this woman came running up to us and she's like, oh my God, I'm, I, love, I love you and I love your show and I bought your album because of, uh, it was talked about in the show and, I, and I, I, I let you know. So that's like my greatest, like, you know, I love that because the album that we made was a Broadway duets album a uh, Christmas album that raised money for the Ali Fernay Center for Homeless uh, LGBTQ Youth. Each album gives like, I think pays for like three meals for the, uh, you know, a kid, you know? So I was like, great. Because she connected with us on the show, she felt like she wa wanted to hear this music and then it goes to a good cause. So that's the greatest. That's, I love that. I love that.
so much for watching <laughs> Queer from the Couch on the Queer Network. This is Marty Gold Cummings, resident iconic drag queen in New York City. <laughs> if you haven't been here before, subscribe to the channel. Also hit that like button and the notification bell to make sure you stay up to date on all of the Queer Network's new content. <laughs> Can you just edit? Can you give me a soft? Ah. <laughs>